question. We'll start with an opening statement, and then we'll uh, entertain questions. Um, you know, not a good night tonight. We got our tail kicked. Uh, didn't play well, didn't coach well. You know, I'd like to be able to say something other than uh, what actually happened, but that's what happened. And you got to give Oregon State credit. Um, you know, they played better than we did. And uh, you guys saw what happened. I mean, I don't need to say much about it. Raise your hand and we'll bring the microphone to you. Sonny, can you talk about your thought process on changing quarterbacks in the third quarter and, and kind of where it goes from here? Yeah, you know, um, same thing, you know, we've seen a couple of times this year. The ball just came out of Jared's hand, and we felt like we needed to make a, a switch. So we put Zach in, and I thought he did some good things, um, you know, and gave us a little spark of energy. And um, and moving forward, you know, we'll see. I don't know. I don't I don't know what the answer is. I mean, we'll talk about it, and we'll um, see where we go from here. What was the defensive game plan going in with with a guy like Brandon Cooks? Was there any thought of double teaming him and uh, you know shading a safety over his side wherever he was? Yeah, I mean, we we did that. I mean, we we uh, tried to get, you know get our hands on him, keeping him off the line of scrimmage. We rolled coverage to him. We put a safety over the top of him. We tried to jam him, like I said, at the line of scrimmage. We played a linebacker out of the box more to his side. Um, so I mean, yeah, we did a lot of stuff. Yeah, he made a lot of plays. Made a lot of competitive plays on the football. Um, you know, we had guys in position to make some plays, and, and he made made the plays. And, you know, he's a heck of a football player. That's what good players do. And when they have opportunities to make plays, they you know, they have they do it. And he did. He did it over and over and over again. What did you see out of Copperich and uh, Irvin tonight? You know, I thought they both ran, ran hard. Uh, you know, I thought they did some good things. You know, we've had a hard time running the football, and that continued tonight. Um, but, I, but I thought, you know, they both, um, you know, when they had opportunities, I thought they ran hard. You know, we didn't do a very good job at the line of scrimmage a lot of times tonight. You know, I, I, feel, I didn't feel like we played very well up front. That's been an issue for us, um, you know, through most of the year. Um, you know, just kind of some inconsistency up front and some, you know, we had a lot of penalties on the offensive line tonight. We're going to do everything we can to get that fixed. Uh, but I thought I thought those guys, you know, when they got their hands on the football, I thought they you know, they performed uh, you know, they performed pretty well. What what do you do to make sure your team doesn't lose complete confidence, given the way things have been going? You know, we just got to keep working. I mean, that's the deal. You know, they'll generate their confidence from us as coaches, and so you know, I'm I'm extremely disappointed, but you know, I'll get over it and and show up tomorrow and roll my sleeves up and go to work and keep on working, and that's. You know, um, that's where they'll generate their, you know, their attitude will be from us and, and how we handle this. And, um, you know, as I said, I'm disappointed now. I'll get over it tomorrow and, and move on. Uh, when, you, when you talk about being disappointed, are there any specific things? I mean, you mentioned the the line play, but I, w did you feel you were ready to play tonight? I mean, were there just was there sort of just an overall? Situation? Yeah, I and mean, we didn't play well. I mean, obviously, I didn't. You know, and again, that's that's our job to get them ready to play, and so obviously, we didn't do a very good job of it. I mean, um, you know. They scored a lot of points. They held us to very few points, and they pretty much lined up and kicked our tail. Can you talk about your decision to kick the field goal instead of going for it in the first quarter? Yeah, we just felt like we needed to get some points. You know, it's the same thing. Um, I think right now we our red zone and short yardage offense hadn't been particularly effective, and felt like it was important for us to to get on the board, try to get some confidence early in the ball game, and and uh, so that's the decision we made. Sonny, are you guessing that you would possibly open up qu quarterback competition this coming week as you did uh, three weeks uh, ago? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we always, like we talk about all the time, I mean, all those spots are always open for, for competition. And so, you know, um, we'll see how it plays out. You know, I don't, I don't know how it's going to. I don't know. Um, you know, we'll look at the tape and see. And we'll find the, the quarterback we think gives us the best chance to win. But, uh, you know, I thought Zach, I was proud of Zach. I thought he came in and did a good job and wasn't the best set of circumstances for him. And I thought he competed hard. And, you know, he's a good kid. And, um, 
you know, I, you know, he's obviously got some talent. So we'll see, you know, um, go through practice, look at the tape, and then and then try to make a decision that we think is the best one. Going over the right tackle position, uh, Farley started the game and then uh, was taken out. Yeah, the yeah, uh, he's been uh, – Stephen Moore has been sick. He had, uh, he had strep throat. Didn't practice this week. Yeah, yeah, we, you know, we knew he wasn't going to be able to play a complete game. He just hadn't practiced and, um, you know, and we were, we were kind of looking for some answers and so we, we put him in to see if it helped. Uh, you used Rogers a lot as a short yardage back last week, a little bit less so this week. How are you evaluating that? And you yeah, you know, we'll continue to use him from time to time. I don't think it's going to be something that we, we major in. Um, you know, but but I think um, I think you know we'll always try to utilize the talent that we have and figure out a place for him and and an opportunity to get him the ball. And he's a he's a big kid, and um, so we'll try to figure out ways to utilize him. Mike Lowe was kind of splitting time with Demario Drew again. Was that just giving they both earn get some reps, or did Lowe replace him because of poor performance? No, no, no. We just we, we just try to get Mike some playing time at the end of the game. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know I don't, I wouldn't say that anybody performed particularly well. I mean, I think when you sit down and look at it, I mean, um, you know, as I said, I didn't think we played well on defense. I didn't think we played well on offense. Um, so you know, we were looking for some some you know try to give guys opportunities and looking for some answers. And so we made some personnel switches, and you know, we'll continue to do that if if we think it's going to benefit us. No, no, I don't think so. I think we came out uh, relatively injury free. What's that? Yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's, it was possible tonight. Okay, guys, thanks. thanks